hello everyone welcome back to my channel the charging point so before we start please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so let's start with an example suppose if you want to search for bill gates photo the moment you will type bill gates in your search bar you will get the photo in less than a second so the bill gates photo you are looking at is traveled approximately 5600 nautical miles from google center to reach you by your mobile now the question is how does this photo reach to your mobile an easy way to achieve this goal would be with use of satellite from the data center signal could be sent to the satellite via antenna and then from the satellite, a signal could be sent to you, your mobile phone, via another antenna near you. However, this way of transmitting signal isn't a good idea. So let's find out why. The satellite is parked nearly 22,000 miles above the earth. So in order for the data transmission to be successful, the data would have to travel a total distance of 44,000 miles. Such a long distance of travel causes a significant delay in transmission and receiving the signal. More specifically, it causes huge latency which is unacceptable for most internet applications. So if this photo doesn't reach to you via satellite, then how does it actually get to you. So it is done with the help of complicated network of fiber optics cable or submarine cables which connects between the Google data center and your mobile or laptop. Your mobile phone could be connected to the internet via cellular data or any Wi-Fi router but ultimately at some point your phone will be connected to the network of fiber optics cable so how we access the stored content like videos photos from Google Center every device that is connected to internet whether it is server a computer or mobile phone is identified uniquely by a string of numbers known as an IP address. You can consider the IP address similar to your home address. That is the address that uniquely identifies your home. Any parcel sent to you reaches to you because of your home address. Similarly, in the internet world, an IP address acts as a shipping address through which all information reaches its destination. Your internet service provider will decide the IP address of your device and you are able to see that IP. Your internet service provider has given to your mobile phone or laptop. The servers in the Google data center also has an IP address. The server stores a website so you can access any websites just by knowing the server IP address. However, it is difficult for a person to remember so many IP address. So to solve this problem, domain name like youtube.com, facebook.com etc are used which correspond to IP addresses which are easier for person or user to remember then the long sequence of numbers another things to notice is that a server has the capability of storing several websites and if the server consists of multiple websites all the website cannot be accessed with the server ip address in such a cases additional piece of information host headers are used to uniquely identify the websites however for the websites like youtube.com or facebook.com, the entire data center infrastructure 
will be dedicated to the storage of the particular website to access the internet we always use domain name instead of the complex ip address now from where does the internet get ip address corresponding to our domain name request so well for this purpose the internet uses a huge phone book known as dns the dns server provides the same service to the internet the internet service provider or other organization can manage the dns server when you are enter the domain name the browser sends request to the dns server to get the corresponding ip address after getting the ip address your browser simply forward the request to the data center to the respective server once the server gets a request to access a particular websites the data flow starts the data is transferred in a digital format via fiber optics cable in the form of light pulses these light pulses sometime have to travel thousands of miles via the optical cable to reach their destination the laying of the fiber optics cable is done with the help of a sieve a plow is dropped deep into the sea from the sieve and this plow creates a trench on the sea bed and to which place the fiber optics cable in fact this complex fiber network is the backbone of internet these fiber optical cables carrying the light are stretched across the seabed to your door step where they are connected to a router the router converts these light signal to a electrical signal an ethernet cable is used to transmit the electrical signal to your laptop or mobile however if you if you are accessing the internet using cellular data from the optical cable the signal has to be sent to a cell tower and from the cell tower the signal reaches to your cell phone or mobile phone in the form of electromagnetic waves since the internet is a global network it has become important to have an organization to manage things like ip address assignment domain name registration etc this is all managed by an institution called icann located in the usa transmitting data when compared with cellular and landline communication technology for an example let's say this video you are watching from the google data center is sent to you in the form of huge collection of zeros and ones what makes the data transfer in the internet efficient is the way in which these zeros and ones are chopped up into small chunks known as pockets and transmitted to each pockets consist of 6 bits along with the bits of the videos each pockets also consist of the sequence number and the ip addresses of the server and your phone with this information the pockets are routed towards your phone and it's not necessary that all the pockets are routed through the same path and each pockets independently takes the best route available at that time upon reaching your phone the pockets are reassembled according to their sequence number if it is the case that any pockets fails to reach to your phone an acknowledgement is sent from your phone to resend the lost pockets now compare this with a postal network with a good infrastructure but the customer don't follow the basic rules regarding the destination 
addresses. In this scenario, letters won't be able to reach to your correct destination. Similarly, in the internet, we use something called protocols for the management of this complex flow of data. So thank you so much for watching.